Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson. In this one we'll be breaking down paper 22, the extended multiple choice paper from the 2023 February-March exam series. Before we begin, it would be greatly appreciated if you take a moment to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Okay, question number one, what is used as a means of classification? So classification in this context means arranging organisms into groups by the features that they share. The correct answer here is C. The sequence of bases in DNA are used as a means of classification. Number two, how many jointed legs does an insect have? Insects have three pairs of jointed legs, so the correct answer is B. Number three, the photomicrograph shows a cell from a type of aquatic plant. Which labelled parts indicate that this is a plant cell? Okay, so P is the nucleus, Q is the cell wall, R is the cell membrane, and S looks to be a chloroplast. Animal cells have a cell membrane and a nucleus, so the parts that indicate that this is a plant cell are the cell wall and chloroplast, labelled Q and S. Number four, the diagram shows a red blood cell. The actual diameter of the cell is seven micrometers. What is the magnification of this cell? Okay, so the first thing is to convert one of the measurements so that we have the same units for each. There are 1,000 micrometers in a millimeter, so we can either multiply image diameter by 1,000 or divide actual diameter by 1,000. We then simply enter our values into the equation. Magnification equals image size divided by actual size, which gives us a magnification of 7,000. So the correct answer is C. Number five, which molecule crosses a partially permeable membrane during osmosis? The correct answer here is, of course, D, water. Number six, the graph shows the rate of uptake of magnesium ions by two similar plants, X and Y. The roots of each plant were placed in a range of solutions, and each solution contained a different concentration of magnesium ions. All other conditions were kept constant. What is a possible explanation for the difference in results for the two plants? The correct answer here is A. Plant Y has fewer protein carriers for magnesium ions in its cell membranes. Since ions are absorbed from the soil by active transport, fewer protein carriers would limit the rate of uptake. Question seven, which substance is used to test a food for vitamin C? So Benedict's solution is used to test for reducing sugars, DCPIP for vitamin C, ethanol for lipids, and iodine solution for starch. So the correct answer is B, DCPIP. Question eight, in DNA, what is the correct base pairing? So DNA is made of two strands held together by bonds between pairs of bases. The bases always pair up in the same way. A pairs with T and C pairs with G. So the correct answer is D. Number nine, what remains at the end of an enzyme controlled reaction? The correct answer here is A, enzymes and products. A substrate binds to an enzyme, the enzyme mediates a reaction, and products are released. Number 10, which feature explains the specificity of an enzyme? So specificity refers to the fact that each enzyme only binds to one particular substrate. This is because the shape of the active site of the enzyme and the shape of the substrate are complementary. Question number 11. A plant is placed in the dark until all its stored starch is used up. The plant is placed in light with black paper over part of one green leaf. After eight hours, the leaf is tested for starch. Which diagram shows the appearance of the leaf after this test? Okay, so because starch is made from the products of photosynthesis, we'd expect to see starch in the parts of the leaf that were exposed to light. So the base of the leaf nearest the stem and where the hole was cut in the paper. The correct answer is therefore B. Question 12. The diagram shows part of a cross-section of a leaf. Which row shows the correct labels? So R is the cuticle, a waxy layer that provides some protection and limits water loss to evaporation. S is the palisade mesophyll tissue. Palisade mesophyll cells are densely packed with chloroplasts for photosynthesis. Finally, T is the spongy mesophyll. The cells are loosely packed, creating air spaces for the exchange of gases. The correct answer is therefore row A. Number 13. The diagrams show the different types of human teeth. Which teeth are used for grinding food? So tooth number one is a premolar and tooth number three is a molar. Both have knobbly surfaces called cusps which help to crush and grind food into smaller particles. The correct answer is therefore A. Number 14. 
The diagram shows a villus. Structures P and Q absorb different products of digestion. Which row identifies the products absorbed by P and Q? So P is a blood capillary, which absorbs both glucose and amino acids. Q is a lacteal, which absorbs lipid molecules, that is fatty acids and glycerol. The correct row in the table is therefore row C. Number 15. The arrows show the movement of substances from the soil into a root hair cell. Which substances move from the soil into the root hair cell? The correct answer here is D, water and mineral ions. The other options here, carbon dioxide and oxygen, enter plants through stomata in the leaves, and glucose is produced in the leaves by photosynthesis. Number 16. By which process does water escape from stomata in the leaves? Now you might be tempted to go for evaporation here, however the correct answer is B, diffusion. Water evaporates from the surfaces of the mesophyll cells into the air spaces and then diffuses out of the leaf through stomata. Question 17. Which row about the circulatory system is correct? So the first column is the part that pumps blood, which is obviously the heart, and the second column is the part with valves, and that is the heart and veins. So the correct answer is A. Number 18. The graph shows pressure changes that take place in the right atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle of a human heart when the muscle walls contract and relax. What is the pressure in the right ventricle when the left ventricle is at its maximum pressure? Okay, so the left ventricle pumps blood throughout the entire body and therefore generates much more pressure than the other chambers. The right atrium generates the least pressure out of the three chambers, as it only needs to pump blood to the right ventricle. The left ventricle is at its maximum pressure at around 0.35 seconds. At this time, the pressure in the right ventricle is around 3 kilopascal, so the correct answer is C. Number 19. The sequence of amino acids in antibodies enables them to complete which function? So the sequence of amino acids in a protein determines its specific shape and function. Antibodies are proteins and their function is to bind to specific antigens on the surface of pathogens. The correct answer is therefore A. Number 20. The table shows some of the changes that occur during breathing. Which changes occur to cause inspiration? So during inspiration, which means breathing in, the diaphragm contracts and flattens. At the same time, the external intercostal muscles contract and the internal intercostal muscles relax, causing the rib cage to move upwards and outwards. The correct letters are X, Y and R, so the answer is C. Number 21. The apparatus shown was used to investigate aerobic respiration in seeds. The apparatus was placed in a dark room. All environmental conditions were kept constant. What will happen in the apparatus? So the seeds are respiring aerobically, which means they're using up oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. The first column, gas taken in by the seeds, is therefore oxygen, and the second column, gas absorbed by the chemical in the wire mesh, is carbon dioxide. Now because oxygen is used up and carbon dioxide is absorbed, the volume of gas in the boiling tube will decrease, causing the coloured liquid in the glass tube to move towards the seeds. The correct answer is therefore C. Number 22. Why is yeast used in bread making? The correct answer here is D. Anaerobic respiration in yeast produces carbon dioxide, which forms air bubbles in dough, causing bread to rise. Number 23. In the diagram, which label identifies the urethra? So A and B are blood vessels, and D is one of two ureters, which direct urine from the kidneys to the bladder. The correct answer is therefore C. Number 24. The diagram shows a reflex arc. Which label identifies the motor neuron? So D is a sensory neuron, A is a relay neuron, and B a motor neuron. Motor neurons carry impulses from the central nervous system to effectors, in other words, muscles and glands. Number 25. Which structures contain neurotransmitter molecules in neurons? So neurotransmitter molecules are contained within membrane-bound structures called vesicles. Number 26. The diagram shows a seedling growing inside a dark box. Which type of responses affect the direction of growth of the root and shoot inside the box? So because the seedling is growing inside a dark box, the growth responses of the root and shoot can't have anything to do with light. The response in both cases is therefore gravitropism, so the correct answer is A. 
Number 27, why is an MRSA infection difficult to treat? So MRSA is a strain of bacteria that, through natural selection, has become resistant to certain antibiotics. The correct answer is therefore C. Question 28, what is the order of flower parts through which the pollen tube must grow to reach the egg cell nucleus during fertilization? The correct answer here is B. When a pollen grain is transferred to a stigma, a tiny tube called a pollen tube grows from the grain, down the style, into the ovary, and then into an ovule through a tiny hole called a micropyle. Question 29. Which diagram showing the exchange of products between mother and fetus is correctly labelled? Okay, so the correct answer is D. The placenta is attached to the wall of the uterus and the umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta. Nutrients are passed from the mother to the fetus and waste products from the fetus are transferred to the mother. Question 30. Which statement about the synthesis of a protein molecule in a cell is correct? So the correct answer here is D. The sequence of amino acids is determined by the sequence of bases in the mRNA. If you're not sure why, go and watch my video on topic 17.1, in which I explain how proteins are made. Question 31. Each statement describes cell division by mitosis or meiosis in humans. Which statements describe meiosis? So meiosis is a reduction division in which the chromosome number is halved from diploid to haploid, resulting in genetically different cells. Points 1, 3 and 4 all relate to meiosis, so the correct answer is D. Number 32. In humans, what is the genotype of a red-green colorblind male? So red-green colorblindness is a sex-linked characteristic, meaning the gene is located on a sex chromosome. Females are XX and males are XY, so the answer has to be either C or D. Now the allele for colorblindness is recessive, so the correct answer is D. Number 33. Which feature is found in a hydrophytic plant? The correct answer here is D. There is no waxy cuticle. The role of the cuticle is to limit water loss, which hydrophytes, like water lilies, have no use for as they grow in water. Number 34. Which statements are correct during both natural selection and artificial selection? Okay, so statements 1 and 2 are both true. Only certain individuals reproduce and alleles are passed on to the offspring. Statement 3, however, is false as organisms do compete with each other for survival during natural selection. The correct answer is therefore A. Number 35. The diagram shows a food chain. Phytoplankton, zooplankton, herring, and sea lion. Which diagram shows a pyramid of energy for this food chain? Okay, so food chains depict the transfer of energy from one organism to the next, starting with a producer. The producer, in this case phytoplankton, always occupies the base of an ecological pyramid, so the answer must be either A or C. Pyramids of energy are always pyramidal in shape, as energy is lost at each trophic level. The correct answer is therefore C. Number 36. In the nitrogen cycle, what are processes 1 and 2? The correct answer here is D. Nitrogen fixation converts atmospheric nitrogen gas into ammonia, which is absorbed by plants, while denitrification is the conversion of nitrates in the soil to nitrogen gas. Number 37. Untreated sewage is accidentally released into a river for several weeks. How will this affect the number of bacteria, the oxygen concentration of the water, and the number of fish? Alright, so this question relates to the process of eutrophication. The sewage provides an excess of ions to the algae in the water, which grow rapidly. When the algae die, they're broken down by decomposers, namely bacteria, so the number of bacteria increases. Decomposition uses up oxygen, so oxygen concentration decreases, which results in the death of fish and other organisms that rely on oxygen for survival. The correct answer is therefore B. 38. Fish stocks can be conserved in various ways. Which method of conservation ensures that mainly large fish are caught? The correct answer here is C. Having a minimum mesh size for nets allows more young fish to escape, mature and eventually reproduce. Number 39. Which component of bacteria is genetically modified to produce human insulin? The correct answer is C. Plasmids are small circular DNA molecules that can be cut open and human genes inserted. 
Okay, last question, question number 40. Fermenters must have carefully controlled conditions. Which condition has the correct reason for controlling it? Okay, so the only one here that makes any sense is row D. pH is controlled in a fermenter to ensure optimum conditions for enzyme activity. Okay, so that's it for another extended multiple choice paper. Well done if you followed me all the way to the end. Leave a thumbs up if you benefited from this video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be notified when I upload the next one.